how important it was for you to get the game started off right to kind of give the offense a little time to, to get going. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I was thinking about that too much. It was more just, you know, go, go do my job, but, but yeah, I think that it was nice. The boys got rolling a little bit at the end there, took some confidence swings and yeah, it's good. We're turning the corner. Hopefully in this day and age where everybody's trying to hit home runs, I'll tough it out is a rise um, at the top of that lineup and just how he goes about hitting. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> I have to have thrown 50 pitches against him this year. Uh, he definitely, he, he's very talented. He's very good at, at seeing pitches. He fights pitches off. Um, try and get him on the first pitch, but uh, you can't give in to him. He's got some some power, enough power to, to threaten. So it's always a good battle. Um, I'll ask the question everybody wants to know. I thought this was one of your least animated games of the season, but what happened between you and Sano, in your, in your opinion? Yeah, you know what? Listen, I play this game with, with a lot of emotion. I think everyone knows that. and It's just part of it. It's hard to get here. It's hard to stay here. It's hard to succeed. Um, it's one of my favorite things in the world to do is tell the rubber, and I'm going to leave it all out there. So um, I think he just didn't like something I must have said earlier in the game, and I guess the, whatever. Seemed like it fired you up a little bit more, though, to close this out. Is that true or not? Um, I, I do my best not to allow – my energy to change based on what they're doing. But yeah, I mean, I think that the fact that they cared enough to say something is, is good. We're, we're, you know, we're playing meaningful baseball. Or at least I think everyone on the field cared about today's game. So, um, yeah. Hey, like, you have that. Oh, go ahead. My bad. Go ahead, Joe. My bad. You, threw you threw a career high 109 pitches tonight. What does it mean to you to go out there and be able to just pitch and not worry about a pitch count and not worry about, you know, them pulling you out just empty the tank at that point yeah i've worked extremely hard to become a starter again and to earn the trust of my manager uh to leave me out there for 108 pitches um so yeah i mean i take pride in the fact that that he felt confident enough to leave me there at that past 100 pitches i think that our game has really taken a turn towards limited pitch counts and it's too bad because I think sometimes you, what you have to offer at the end of the game might be the best that you've had the entire game. So, um, you know, you really want to reward you really want to reward your manager when he gives you that opportunity. I felt like I let the team down in Boston and I wanted a second chance today, so it was good. Yeah, what what did you say to uh, Sano earlier in the game? I, I didn't say anything to Snow earlier in the game. He tried around the bases. So. <laughs> I, uh, we didn't have any interaction. Kyle, I saw blood on the back of your the back side again. Is that the same thumb, knuckle, yeah. the same issue yeah. as last? Yeah, it's ju just the cutter. Just nail gets it. Can't cut my nails any shorter than they are. So we're, we're looking into some different stuff to try and stop it. But it's, it's non-factor. I was going to say, it hasn't affected your pitching at all. And the umpires haven't said anything either? No, no. It, we, it never, it's never on the ball. Um, you know, make a conscious effort to, uh, to avoid touching the ball with it, dry it off, get it stopped, and, and back to work. Were you, Cal, were you surprised the umpire came out and got, kind of got between you two, Snow and, and you, when, on the ground ball? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't feel like it was escalating to that point, but they have a job to do, so they did it. The response that you got from the crowd when you came off the field, uh, you sort of, you know, gave them the, the, the hands uh, to encourage it. What was that feeling like to be able to get that from the crowd? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, when I got traded over here, I was told that, you know, this is a sports city and, uh, and there's been a lot of winning that's happened in this city um, in all sports, but baseball over the last 10 years. And, and, you know, I know we're getting to the end here, but I just wanted to let them know that we appreciate them coming out and, uh, you know, they mean, it means a lot to us, especially after the COVID season. So, you know, hopefully we can fill this place out a little more as we get down the stretch. And if today wasn't evidence enough that we care about the baseball that's being played, then, uh, you know, I don't know what to say.